So extraction sounds awesome, but is it? In a recent post from Bathrobe Spartan Podcast, it's in French, so I'll have to translate for you guys here. But this long list of maps, modes, and different experiences that have with Halo Infinite were all tied within this one large leak. Talking about the Forge canvases, which were confirmed. The Forge canvases being like the Academy, a wetland, desert, glacier, space environment, ocean, deep sea right here, as well as like Forge Horizon, which is said something kind of different. That was corroborated by Halo.API who look into the game files and so you see space, desert, deep sea, wetland, academy, blank, and some other kind of parts as well when it comes to these leaks right here for just Forge alone. But there was another major leak that came tied in with this that's been going around again, even though I covered it previously here on the channel before anyone else did. Extraction. The description of Extraction has a little more elaborated here saying, but remember Extraction from Halo 4? Well, now think about it as fighting waves of Banished on a current multiplayer maps. Uh, you should have to extract an objective from one place and carry it to another to progress. Should be played by probably about four or six different types of players within the lobby right here. Could be a good way to have a PvE experience without creating dedicated maps like Firefight to require it to be played. So we're going to be seeing more kind of just like regular multiplayer maps, kind of like how we see like Last Spartan Standing maps played also on BTP in a way kind of stuff. Also Forge will allow you to customize the bot and create PVE experiences as well with this kind of mode, which it's very exciting stuff because this is something that Hill definitely really needs. And that is a true like PVE kind of casual, like, repeatable experience. We've had this in Halo since ODST. While I would say Firefight for the most part has definitely been overplayed or outplayed at this point, like the wave defense PVE kind of stuff. It's just kind of gotten well, a little boring at this time now, in my opinion, when it comes to Halo. But what you could do with it is spice it up a little bit to find some ways to kind of add, like, say like add objectives, kind of make it a little bit more interactive rather than just standing around slaying you know wave after wave of just you know ai enemies but what could they do with a mode like extraction well they definitely could make it even maybe add a little bit of pvp element too which is another rumor that i've been heard i've heard going around uh though i would not expect this to be coming around anytime soon we I mean like we, well we could see it with like season three but i would say most likely season four uh, because what, from what I've seen from the uh, information that we've seen for season three, like, yeah, it'll be like new game modes or something like that, new sandbox elements and things like that, like they mentioned previously. But would there be anything that would be really exciting to get people back into playing Halo? I don't know if it was really promised within the season three roadmap. And this extraction game mode does sound interesting, but I don't know if it really be anything too exciting to bring a whole lot of people back in. It sounds like they might be kind of trying to do the same kind of thing they did in Halo 5 for Firefight, then put that into Halo Infinite. If you guys remember with Halo 5, there was no Firefight, but then they found a way to do Warzone Firefight, which was actually kind of a fun mode to play because of the rec system and different kind of weapons you can play around with. But you're really just kind of playing within like the smaller kind of arena experience and you're just kind of hopping around to different objectives on the map, which I mean, it sounds pretty standard gameplay stuff, right? It sounds like they might be trying to do something similar here where like imagine playing extraction on breaker right i don't know if it would really be too crazy of an experience to go from like one base to another with the objective uh because the way that you would have to have to do the spawning on the map to make it work properly it just seems like you probably have like these small little troops uh playing throughout the map kind of thing and just being kind of like in the way i don't know if it really feel like you're fighting through waves of enemies if it probably would end up playing more like you just have to drop off like five different zones where you drop off one point, then it spawns over there, kind of go back, do it again, spawn over there, do it, go back, do it again. It doesn't really sound that exciting. It doesn't really sound like you're fighting off like waves of enemies. It'd probably just be more like isolated pockets of spawns on like a BTB map that you would probably have to fight through, which again, like, I don't know how exciting would that be. If you add like maybe like a PVP element to it, I can see that being kind of exciting, but if it's just gonna be like playing like PVE, but like on Breaker or something like that, I don't know if that's gonna really be like that exciting of a mode. Me, it just kind of sounds like we're gonna be playing like Warzone Firefight on BTB maps, and you might have some uh, different kinds of uh, objectives, but that's really about it, which I'm sure a lot of people probably would be happy with that. For me, I just kind of would like to have like a different kind of experience, something new, fresh, exciting. But given Halo Infinite's development, how slow the turn of content has been with this game, 
I don't really expect it to really be anything that brand new or innovative or something that would just like want to have to be like a brand new huge game mode with a bunch of new features or something like that. It sounds like it'd be kind of like a new mode on BTB maps, kind of not necessarily reusing content in a way, but just kind of having maps maybe designed with like this mode in mind. Also, if extraction is just taking an objective like we see right here within this gameplay and just grabbing it from point A and bringing it over to point B, I don't really know if that would be that exciting to play just kind of over and over again. At least with previous firefight modes, we've had different objectives, right? Like with Warzone firefight, you had different types of things you had to do within that mode. It wasn't just slaying all the bad stuff and even the, the new bad stuff that would come in. They at least have new gameplay mechanics for you to have to come in and play. And I'm hoping you get the same thing with extraction. Maybe this objective changes throughout the mode or something like that. that kind of give you a brand new experience, you know, so it's not just like, Grab it again, put it over the side of the map. Now grab the same thing, but put it over to the other side of the map kind of thing. It just sounds a little redundant, not too exciting, to be honest. Now adding in a PvP element to this mode will certainly spice it up quite a bit. Though again, if you're thinking if you're playing on regular BTB maps, it might get a little congested when it comes to having AI enemies as well as actual player enemies. Though 343 certainly has this code or this game mode done previously in Halo 4, as we mentioned right here, where basically you're going to these different points, extract the point kind of thing in the BTB lobbies, which certainly was a lot of fun. Though, again, like it's just going to be something like if you're going to have PvE and PvP elements, it might get a little congested. That's why they mentioned about having fire teams of four to maybe six players that work out properly when it's so because if you had like full on 12 v 12 on breaker as well as having ai enemies yeah that might be a little much and then that's what i'm thinking that might happen with this might be just kind of like a 4v4 game mode my experience or maybe even 6v6 so it could make sense to have enough players on each team to fight over these points of you know of contention but you have ai you know protecting these locations which certainly help add to the level of gameplay right there of interesting gameplay elements so then it's not so just like it's a you know btb with, with like some ai and a different kind of objective to it but is it gonna play out like warzone then where you had the ai enemies in these specific locations where if you took those out your team would get points for that but it seemed like oftentimes those AI enemies would just be like bullet sponges that just kind of stand in there the whole time. And whoever puts the last bullet in gets 100% of all the points. A little disheartening and it kind of takes away from the experience of wanting to engage with those AI gunfights because they are just so not properly balanced for the game mode. Because at least from my experience playing Warzone with the AI enemies, I just didn't bother engaging with them because it was a bullet sponge. It was a great way to lose your wrecks because you got killed super quickly and whoever put the last bullet in got 100% all the points so there really was no incentive to engage into the gunfights until like the very end and those people who were you know withering down their health throughout the first like 75 percent well you guys are the true mvps so extraction sounds great but there certainly are a lot of issues when i think about this type of game mode and how much fun will it actually be if you're new to the channel missing any content from me recently check out this place right here got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one Peace out.